Holy cow. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Thursday. So, first things first. Oh, I've been sore. <laughs> I've been quite sore today from, uh, from moving everything um, last night. Most notably, the, the very first thing that we moved yesterday was a big um, armoire. Because it makes this, the most sense when you load the truck to put the heaviest stuff on it first. So whenever I get over there, I was like, we should probably do that first. And um, we smartly put it onto the dolly, because there's a little dolly. And it was in two pieces and super, super heavy. Like, definitely several hundred pounds, uh, collectively. So we slid the top part off and onto the floor very, very carefully. We got it onto the dolly, and then I was the person that was supporting the weight on the dolly. The problem was the dolly handle like that extends up was not quite long enough and the armoire had a lip. So just trying to visualize this for you, like the handle went up here and then the lip of the armoire came down past it. So I was holding the handle of the dolly, which would have been fine, but the lip of the armoire was past that and it, it like cut into, well not cut, but like was resting largely on my wrists or a little under my wrists, kind of a little up and onto my arm. And I woke up this morning and I was like, man, I'm really sore. And then as the day went on, like I've been sore all over from doing, you know, the, the moving, but right where that thing sat, oh my God, I'm so tender. And I can tell that like, there's going to be possibly some really like crazy bruising. <laughs> And I remember in the moment thinking like, oh, this is unfortunate because uh, the dolly would have been fine. It should have worked fine. But because of that lip, we didn't even think about it until we had it on the dolly. The lip was into my arm and I was like, oh, this is not good. And I was doing everything I could to like not have it rest on it, but it heavy. So there's only so much you can do. Um, so today has been... Uh, wild. It has been absolutely wild. We recorded a Stephen and Friends for Saturday. I will tell you about it later. Um, only because right now everything feels... Everything right now feels uh, uncertain. Everything feels uncertain. Like, what I mean by that is that video needs to come out Saturday. Um, and I'm actually going to be cutting that one just because uh, Dan has been swamped with stuff. And he can't do it, which is totally fine. Uh, fortunately, I also am an editor, so I can I can take over it. Um, but I don't have that done, and it's going to take a little time to put together. And we're going to try and get it out for Saturday. But like I have other things to deal with. The big thing I've been dealing with, and I've already announced this on Breakfast Stream, but I haven't said anything about it on the blog, is that we're getting ready to start Pokemon Let's Go. I'm super excited about this project. This is something that I've been teasing on. Uh, our Patreon videos for a long time. Like, we've been talking about wanting to do it for six or more months, and it just kept getting pushed back and pushed back and pushed back, and finally we're to the point where, like, we're gonna do this thing tomorrow. And I have been so busy this week uh, with some things I haven't even talked about yet, but will soon, um, that this 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 week has been a struggle and I, I I don't want to mince words this has been the busiest week and one of the hardest weeks for me in like many 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 months like six plus months like this is this was a this has been a hard week I'm doing my best I haven't had as much sleep as I should and I know that it will end because there's only so much that has to be done but like one of the things has been trying to get all of the Pokemon Let's Go stream stuff set up. Um, and it's been kind of a dual effort on Chaz's part because there's a lot of programming stuff that goes into it. And then on my part, um, not only for the design, which has been done, I took care of that a while ago, but then also getting everything set up in OBS and making sure everything was working. And man, it's, it's just been rough. It's just been really rough. I'm happy to report that knock on wood as of right now, it's working. It's working. Things are, there's there's something that's a little wonky, but it's working. So like one of the problems I've run into, and I'm not sure why, is I have to make sure that alerts and camera are always in sync. That is super important. 
That is not terribly important in like 99% of st uh, streams on Twitch. That is extremely important for our stream. And the reason it's important is because I do improv songs. And when you're doing an improv song to music that is coming from a browser source, it has to be synced. It absolutely has to be synced. If it doesn't, if it's not in sync, it'll sound crazy. So one of the problems I've been having with setting all this up is when I when I set it all up, I get everything set, and I'm like, all right, let's do a sync test. I do the sync test, and it's out of sync. And I'm like, I definitely synced this. So I'll restart the computer, I'll restart the computer, and I start from the beginning, it's in sync again. So I'm like, okay, something somewhere is causing this to get out of sync. And I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's simply an amount of time is passing. I don't know if I'm just asking the computer to do a lot. I don't know if, because theoretically it's it, the browser source is what's changing. The other stuff isn't changing. The browser source is what's changing. So I'm like, is that have something to do with the, since the browser source is doing so much, because we have a lot of stuff that Chaz has programmed in, like, is that causing it over time to get out of sync? I have no idea. I, I haven't figured that out yet. And um, it's a minor problem, but it's still it's still an issue. And I'm, I'm trying to figure out exactly what what's going on, um, but I haven't figured it out yet. And we, we launch it tomorrow. And like, it's not, that's not the end of the world, to be perfectly honest. Um, we could still do everything, but if a song came in, it might be wonky, or as time goes on in the evening, it might be increasingly wonky, because I still haven't figured out exactly what's causing it. But, there's a lot of moving parts to this, and there's actually more than you even know, and I'm waiting, I'm waiting until after tomorrow, after tomorrow's stream, to talk more about something that has really made my week hard um, because I want to I want to make sure the stream works I like I want to make sure that tomorrow goes at least semi successfully before I talk about it and explain everything that's been going on so once we get that far then we'll see what happens but um yeah I've done everything I can I think tonight uh, and it's late but I'm I'm super excited for this project, and the, the the scope of Pokemon Let's Go has grown a lot because it initially started as like, oh, I think it'd be fun to do a Pokemon game again. Oh, it'd be fun to do uh, Let's Go because it would be a good way to uh, do you know kind of an easier Pokemon game and and you know play it with Mao and just kind of be a somewhat more casual experience than playing like a, a mainline hardcore game. And then as time went on, I was like, you know, actually, in 2022, this is going to be the 10-year anniversary of my Leaf Green LP. That's fun, because we, you know, we're doing the 10-year anniversary of Skyrim. It'd be fun to do the 10-year anniversary of Pokemon. And we started coming up with all these different ideas to, like, make it more interactive for Twitch. And then also to kind of tie into some of the, the history of that very specific LP that I did of Leaf Green. So... I'm excited about it. I'm super, super excited about it. Uh, I'm looking forward to doing it. Um, but man, there's been a lot of moving parts. Like this is, this is hands down the hardest thing that we've ever created on Twitch. Like, definitely. Um, Link's Awakening was also pretty complicated because that required two different things. This is much more complicated than that. So... I'm excited, but it's been, it's been, it's been, it's been hard, but I love, I love to push it, you know, I love to push the envelope and, and to, you know, to find different ways that we can try new things and, um, increase that interactivity on Twitch. So it's, we're working on it. So I'm gonna go to bed, uh, tomorrow I'm gonna get up and I'm going to do some tests with Chaz because it's his his system is on the back end, so I need to work with him and make sure everything's going well and working correctly. And then, assuming that it is, we will be all set to do this stream tomorrow night. And I'll talk to you again tomorrow, and we'll see how it went. Uh, I, I'm hopeful that if there are any issues, and there might be a little, 
um, that they'll be fairly minimal. So one of the other things that we had happen is that there was like a single crackle on the mic today during breakfast stream. And I was like, that's weird. And it, it was like a hundred minute breakfast stream. It was a really long one. And it only happened like for a second. But that's the sort of thing that I'm like, I always want everything to be as perfect as possible. So it's a bit, it, it's, it's like a good thing, but it's also a bit of a fallacy for me. Um, where I, you know, I, I'll really fixate on little things where I'm like, I want to figure out what that is. I want to figure out what that bug is and how can I solve it. And uh, the problem is, with, especially with that as an example, that could be anything in the pipeline. That could be uh, the microphone, the cable. Uh, it could be some sort of environmental thing that's affecting the cable. It could be the camera. It could be the HDMI cable. It could be the capture card. It could be OBS itself. There's so many things that it could be, and uh, who knows? Who knows? <sighs> anyway, that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. Um, tomorrow, man. Tomorrow. Very excited about this. We'll talk more then. Thanks for watching. Let's meet back tomorrow, shall we?